A teenage female hockey player from a high school in Massachusetts endured a distressing incident when she lost two teeth and suffered severe facial injuries after being struck in the face by a ball shot by a male opponent. The disturbing moment was captured on video, where the girl can be seen screaming in agony following the impact. This incident has ignited a heated debate over the state's Equal Rights Amendment, which permits boys and girls at the high school level to compete in sports on teams of the opposite gender when their own gender's teams are unavailable. The accident unfolded during a playoff game's third quarter, as a female defender for Dighton Rehoboth High School was hit squarely in the face by a shot from a male player from Swampscott. This male player was allowed to participate on a girls' team because field hockey in Massachusetts has traditionally been considered a female sport. The girl's pain was palpable as she fell to the ground, with other players visibly distraught. Dighton Rehoboth staff rushed to her aid, and she later required hospital treatment. The team's captain, Kelsey Bain, passionately appealed to the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association, MIAA, to reevaluate the state's rules regarding male involvement in female sports. Bain described the traumatic scene, with her teammates' screams of fear and pain filling the stadium. She expressed the horror and shock on the faces of her teammates and called attention to the issues surrounding male athletes participating in women's sports. The school superintendent, Bill Rooney, emphasized the need for a renewed approach to athlete safety and protection by the MIAA, as the incident deeply affected the players and coaches. The athletic director for Swampscott Public Schools, Kelly Wolf, confirmed that the player who took the shot was a male varsity student and co-captain but asserted his equal right to participate on the team. In response, the MIAA cited the 1976 Massachusetts Equal Rights Amendment, which prohibits sex-based discrimination and was extended to scholastic sports. They explained that courts have ruled against blanket rules prohibiting boys from playing on girls' teams when there is no equivalent boys' team, as such rules violate the amendment. This response only intensified the outrage of the affected players, with Bain questioning how many injuries or incidents it will take for the MIAA to recognize that boys should not be in girls' sports. She argued that high school field hockey rules were designed for female versus female play and that altering them for mixed-gender play comes at a physical and emotional cost for players who love the game.